hatchlings, it's Dragonfeather, and welcome back to day 13 of our 31 Days of Samhain. And for today, we will be talking about the symbolism and the magic behind the black cat. And today is Friday the 13th too, so I figured that this would be a perfect day to discuss the symbolism and power and magic of the black cat. And kind of get more into a little bit of a discussion about is the black cat evil or is it really just the ultimate form of magic <laughs> the ultimate embodiment of magic my little kitten is a black cat and i have had her for quite many years <laughs> she's almost 16 or 17 now but she still behaves like a kitten and she's a huge part of my practice and i wanted to touch upon that in this video despite popular belief that black cats are bad luck with all of the superstitious bullshit um, some people thought that black cats were usually the familiars of witches and while I do consider my cat my familiar <laughs> and I am a witch so she doesn't really help that stereotype but <laughs> despite that black cats mean so much more than that and it was often thought that black cats were witches who transformed into cats themselves and it wasn't com and it wasn't uncommon to say that uh, witches transformed into black animals such as black cats black wolves or black crows or ravens um, this was a very common belief and is still a very common belief today but really is impossible because we can't physically shift into something because we are humans and we can't break the laws of physics you know every witch is still a human that's probably another really common misconception but that's a whole nother video for the black cats despite the superstition and what people may have been led to believe when it comes to working with black cats as a witch these days they're actually quite valuable spiritual magical and just overall physical companions they're just so amazing they're often associated with very powerful magic because cats are often seen as the embodiment of the spirit world perfectly put into a physical expression because of this association with cats they're so inherently magical in their own so when they're all black the color of black is often associated with protection therefore these particular creatures that we call black cats are usually seen as creatures of great protection to the witches and for me personally my cat is more of a guardian than a familiar and let me tell you why because familiars they participate in magic with you they give you their energy when you do your spell work whereas guardians watch over you keep you safe and are kind of just like the watchful eye Keisha whenever I'm around other people she is very protective of me sometimes she'll lunge people she'll lunge at them she'll give them warning growls and has even chased people multiple times out of my house because she doesn't like the way they behave or their energy or whatever it may be so she's more of a guardian than a familiar though she does sometimes get involved in my spell work though it is rare as she usually doesn't like being in the room because of the high energy so I guess for saying that Keisha is more so of a guardian than anything else but in my experience with having a black cat as a witch, I have discovered that these beings are very magically inclined and are very sensitive to the spiritual world. And when we use our when we use our cat companions, especially our black ones, when we use them and practice or when we call upon them or maybe they do help us in our craft, they can be huge allies and not only aid in our magical crafting but can also be very protective as well. I'm a little biased towards black cats probably just because I have one but I absolutely love my cat and she has done nothing but amazing things for me and my experience with knowing her and I often dream walk with her too. I've done this quite a few times and uh, I do consider that more of a thing that a familiar would do. Back in the day when I had a spirit occupying my house, Keisha would always let me know if the spirit was around by either jumping up, being really weird whenever she felt the presence, or would even sometimes go up to my door and hiss and make a fuss and an act of protection. And these animals are so very much so um, entwined with protection. And a lot of people would think that 
their bad luck and that they're scary. Please excuse the kids outside. They aren't mine, it's just a noisy neighborhood. But please know that these animals are in no way evil. They're in no way bad luck. They are no, nothing, none of that. They're nothing negative in my opinion, except maybe their attitudes may be a little, a little extra. Keisha has quite the attitude on her, I won't lie. But like I said, it's really important to work with black cats if you have them because they can be such powerful um, sources of protection and I often use my cat's claws, whiskers, and fur in protection spells because she is like the embodiment of spiritual protection is kind of how I feel. But keep in mind every cat's going to be different and the energies they emit and the energies that they give you more so are going to be that way as well because a lot of people associate cats with healing due to their purring which actually encourages bone growth if you didn't know that I think that's pretty fucking rad while they are alive they shed their claws and I collect my cat's claws here I'll show you this is a little jar that I have of all of my cat's claws that I've been collecting over time and I add to this quite often um, it has such a nice sound to it uh, but I add to this quite often and I use these in protection spells like protection jars like this one if you can see it It's kind of small but naturally sheds them and she naturally sheds her hair too So using hair in a protection bottle that maybe you bury on your property is really awesome as well However, after they pass away you can use their fur to either decorate your altars to add protection to your altar You can use it in ancestor work and they're very good for communicating with the spirit realm like like they say many people believe that cats are the embodiment, the perfect physical expression of the spirit world. So I, I definitely resonate with that too and why I kind of feel like there's such a big difference between dogs and cats because cats are so spiritually inclined where dogs are just like so compassionately inclined. Like they just love you, they want to love you, they want to spend time with you, they adore you. Where cats are very peaceful, very to themselves and kind of sometimes disappear from time to time doing their own thing. So they're very much in their own world and very reserved and as cats do genuinely sleep most of the time um, it's great to work with them for dream work as well and in my experience too because my cat loves to like sleep on my pillow or like sleep next to me or whatever and when she's purring and stuff like that it's just awesome to fall asleep and dream walk with her so that's something that I love to do and something that you can do with your black cats as well for more information about black cats and how you can use maybe your your pet black cat in your practice or if you just want to learn more about the symbolism behind black cats please go ahead and check out the post that I made in the hatchling clan that'll go all in depth about this including some more superstitions that we want to debunk and just some more info on how to interact with your personal cats and black cats if they happen to be the color of protection so that's something that I wanted to share with you guys today I absolutely love black cats with all my heart they're probably my favorite types of cats I absolutely love kitties. Jipitin. Jipitimu is the best. <laughs> she's my little kitten and she's just chilling right there while I film this video but anyway thank you so much for clicking on this video. I really appreciate that you enjoy these videos and to all of you who have been keeping up with the whole series I wanted to say thank you because it's because of you that I make these videos and I hope that you guys love them as much as I do and we've been getting such good positive feedback both on the videos and within the clan and I just wanted to say thank you again and express gratitude for for all that you guys you know give to me for giving to you guys and it's just so much love and so much light so I wanted to send some of that to you today and send it back to your way so much love to you guys always and sending endless love and positive vibes per usual but until next time say geeky cheeky and freaking little hatchlings <laughs> blessed be and bye that I'm different when we're both made of water